Happy New Year, everybody. We made it. 2020 sucked, but this morning I woke up and said to myself, good. The 1st of January is going well. Let's hope it continues that way. I want to start off the new year by giving you eight new sounds. These eight sounds are some of the most difficult sounds to learn, especially for English language students. So if one of your New Year's resolutions is to practice pronunciation, now is the time to pay attention. We're going to practice all of these sounds in one simple sentence. Actually, I already said it at the beginning of the video. The sentence is good. The first of January is going well. Let's talk about the first word, good. If you can say the relaxed uh sound, then you can also say the uh sound, as in good, uh. So let's start with that uh sound. Take a look at the back of my tongue. Here you can see where the root of my tongue is according to this space right here. Uh, e, uh, 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 uh. So the back of your tongue is not very high. Second, we need to pay attention to the position of our lips here. Uh, uh, uh. You can see that I'm pushing forward a little bit with my lips. Uh, uh, uh. Also, my lips are not very open. Uh, uh, uh. Good. Uh, good. The second word is the. We've got that famous TH sound. In order to do this Th sound, we'll need to put the tip of our tongue at the bottom of our two front teeth. Th 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 the tip of our tongue is going to be relaxed, and we are going to be focusing on the smooth flow of air um, out of our mouth. Th 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 the tip of your tongue is soft. It is not tense. If it's too tense, it's going to create too much tension, and we'll hear that buildup of energy. It'll sound something more like a D. So here, stay relaxed. Th, 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 th. The movement of your tongue back into your mouth for that uh sound should be slow, so don't rush. Th, th, th. The third sound we're going to practice is the er sound. The back of your tongue should be touching the back top rows of teeth. Pay attention here. For the front of your tongue, uh, we're going to be focusing on the tip of your tongue. It should be curled just slightly. Next, we focus on our lips, which are going to be slightly rounded and pushing forward. Err, err, fur, fur, first, fur, first, first. Next, we have the word of. Now, I know we have the letter F here, but don't pay attention to the spelling. This letter F represents the V sound here. In order to do the V sound, we need contact between our bottom lip and our top row of teeth. I like to tell my students that we're going to put our teeth in the same place where the lipstick will stop if you put on some lipstick. So here, you don't put the lipstick on the inside of your mouth. You put it until, right until the dry part of your lip stops here. Next, we've got kind of a tricky sound. Well, I guess they're all kind of tricky since this is a list of difficult words to do. But this sound is the ah, as in January sound. Ah, ah, ah. Now, in order to do this sound, you need a lot of openness in your mouth. So your jaw needs to fall and you need to really have an open mouth. Ah, ah, ah. This is the same sound that a baby makes when it's crying. I mean, when you think about a crying baby, crying babies don't cry like, uh, uh, uh. They say, ah, ah. So here, ah, ah. 
So here, drop your jaw and control the height of your tongue with this thing here. Ah, 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 ah. If you're hearing something that sounds a little bit more like the eh as in bed, that means that you need to pay attention a little bit more to the height of your tongue and the openness of your mouth. Ah, ah, eh, eh, ah, ah, eh, eh, jan, jan. Now here, I should admit that during this sound, during the syllable, we are going to relax because there is a letter N at the end of this. So it's going to be something like Jan, 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 January, January. So here, focus on the smooth lowering of the back of your tongue while you're saying the syllable Jan, Jan, Jan. Jan, January, January. Next, we've got one of the most famous tricky sounds in English, the I sound in is, I, I, is. This sound is most often confused with the E sound, E, E. Now, if you think about it, for the E sound, the back of your tongue is high, E, E. Take a look, E, E, E. But for the I sound, it's more relaxed. I, I, E, E, I, I. You can even relax your lips if you want to. I, 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 is, is. Nice job. Only two more words to go. The next word is going. Notice how you didn't hear a final G sound at the end of that word. Going going. When we make this sound, we are putting the back of our tongue to the roof of our mouth in the same place where we make the g sound, but we don't release that explosion of air. We just maintain that contact. Going, ing, going, going. I know that you're tempted to release that air, but don't do it. Going, going. Finally, we have the last word, which is well, well. The biggest difficulty that my students have with this sound is relaxing their lips for this sound. We are not going to be doing anything with our lips. Our lips are going to be totally paralyzed. Most of my students, especially my Brazilian students, try to say well, well. But here, really try to control what your lips are doing. If you need to, use your hands or a mirror to see what you're doing. Well, oh, relax those lips. Oh, oh, oh. We're going to use the tip of your tongue and create some contact between the tip of your tongue and the roof of your mouth, right behind those bumps that you can feel behind your two front teeth. Oh, 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 well, well, well. Well, the back of my tongue is pushing down just a little bit so that we can create that, that leverage that we need so that we can lift our, the front of our tongue high in our mouth. Oh, 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 well, well, well. Excellent job. So let's say that full sentence one more time, word by word. I want you to repeat after me. Good, the, first, of, January, is, going, well. Hopefully you can say this for every other day of the year. If you're watching this in the future, then let us know. How's 2021 going or how did it go? Let me know. Hopefully the world hasn't exploded or anything. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. Which of these sounds that I taught today are the most difficult for you? If you want to see more pronunciation videos like this one, follow me on YouTube. You can find me by searching youtube.com slash language with Chris or by going on Instagram and looking up at 
language with Chris. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.